we're going to be working on the mean value theorem. If f of x continuous on the closed interval a, b, and if f of x or the function is differentiable on open interval a, b, according to the mean value theorem, there is a number c or point c in the open interval a, b, a, b such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. Now, to simply put, this particular theorem is basically asking you to find a point C in your function based on the closed interval AB that when you create a um, tangent line based on that particular point, it will be parallel to the secant line connecting the interval A and B. Now, to give you an idea on what mean value theorem is telling you, this is a particular function or a graphical display of a certain function. If you will notice, we have an interval a, b, this two point right here, uh, the first point which is a, the second point which is your interval b, will be your closed interval for this particular function and we need to satisfy the mean value theorem by finding point c inside this interval that will be parallel to the secant line connecting the two endpoints from the given closed interval. And in this particular graphical display, you will notice that we have point C right here, that when you connect or when you create a tangent line from this point of tangent C, it will be parallel or it will have the same slope as the secant line connecting A and B. Now, this might be a little bit complex, but um, we're going to be working on our... Now, for the first example, we need to verify the mean value theorem for this particular function. And if it's satisfied, we'll be able to find point C for that function that will be parallel to the secant line connecting A and B. Now, the function that we're going to be working on is f of x is equal to x squared at closed interval 0 and 2. Now, we know that x squared is a parabola, and I am showing you the graph of a parabola right here with a closed interval 0 and 2. Now, based on this particular curvature right here, we know that we are satisfying the mean value theorem already because this particular graph right here in the closed interval AB will be continuous and also differentiable. Therefore, the mean value theorem is satisfied and we'll be able to find point C, which is along this particular graph right here, that will be parallel to the secant line connecting A and B. And that's what we're going to be working on on the second step. Now, for this particular step, we have f prime of c, given the formula f of b minus f of a, all over b minus a, we'll be able to find point c using this formula. Now, how are we going to use this formula? Using the given closed interval. So, a is equal to zero, b is equal to two, and if we find f of b and f of a, all you have to do is to substitute a and b to the function which is x squared. Therefore, f of a is equal to 0 because 0 squared is 0 and f of b is equal to 4 because 2 squared is equal to 4. Now, organizing our values right here, a is equal to 0, b is equal to 2, f of a is equal to 0 and f of b is equal to 4. Now, we are ready to use this formula to find f prime of c. And using the formula, f prime of c is equal to 2. Now, we're not finished with our steps yet because we only found f prime of c. We haven't found point c yet, and this is just basically the slope that will be parallel to our secant line. Now, how are we going to find point c given f prime of c? This is the continuation of our solution. Given the function x squared at closed interval 0 and 2, we need to find f prime of x, which is the derivative of the function. So the derivative of x squared is simply 2x, and we know that f prime of c is equal to 2 based on the formula that we worked on on the previous slide. Now, to find c, all we have to do is to equate these two equations. So we have 2x is equal to 2. Using algebra divided by 2 on both sides, we'll be able to isolate x. Therefore, x is equal to 1. And this particular value of x right here is the point of or the point on the function x squared that will be parallel to the secant line connecting 0 and 2. And this is our graphical display on this particular solution. So this is your function x squared. This is your interval a and b. And this is your point c which is equal to 1. 
and if you put, um, create this line right here or the tangent line on the point of tangent C between A and B, we'll be able to see or prove that they are parallel or they have the same slope. Therefore, we satisfy the mean value theorem using the particular formula that we just presented. So our conclusion, the secant line at points 0, 0, and 2, 4, which is basically point A and B, is parallel or has the same slope as the tangent line at point C, which is equal to 1, 1. And that's how we use the mean value theorem for this particular function. Now for the second example, it will be a lot easier because we are now familiar with the steps that we need to work on to prove the mean value theorem. So the first step is to satisfy the two conditions. And when the two conditions are, are satisfied, we are ready to find point C that lies between the interval AB that will be parallel to the secant line connecting the endpoint. And that's what we're going to do here. So the given function, which is squared of x at the close interval 1, 9 is given by this graph right here. So from this graph at x equals or a or the closed interval 1 and 9, we will notice that we are satisfying the mean value theorem already. Why? Because 1, it is continuous because there's no break in this particular graph on this um, closed interval and it's also differentiable because it's a smooth curve. So now that we have verified the mean value theorem, we are ready to find point C on this interval that will be parallel to the secant line connecting A and B. And to do that, we need to use the formula. So using the closed interval 1 and 9, we'll have A, which is 1, B, which is 9, to find F of A and F of B to be used on our formula for F prime of C. F of A is equal to 1 because the square root of X is 1, and F of B is equal to 3 because the square root of 9 is equal to 3. Now, from the mean value theorem formula, f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. So we have f prime of c is equal to 1 over 4. We're almost finished with our solution. We just need to find point c using f prime of c. So once again, the f of x or our function, which is the square root of x, has a derivative of 1 over 2 squared of x. And we also have f prime of c using the formula that we used on the previous slide, which is equal to 1 over 4. To find the value of point c, we need to equate f prime of x and f prime of c. So we have 1 over 2 squared of x equals 1 fourth. To get rid of or to isolate x, I can multiply both sides by 2, so I can cancel 2 and 2, leaving me with 1 over square root of x is equal to 1 half. By cross multiplication, I can have square root of x is equal to 2, and by isolating x, square both sides of the equation, and you'll have x is equal to 4. Therefore, we found point C that will be parallel to uh, the secant line connecting A and B. So therefore, point C, which is our point of tangent C on the closed interval AB, which is 4 and 2, lies on the closed interval 1, 9, satisfying the mean value theorem.